The history of royalty is full of hidden secrets. Angelica, could you come to my office? It's important. The king and queen of San Pablo. Many years ago, a relative of mine left the heir of the throne in this city with no idea of his royal blood. Ramon is an American boy. The king of San Pablo requires a more sophisticated set of skills. But there's only one person in Miami capable of teaching all of those skills. When do I start? <laughs> <laughs> You're Ramon? Ouch. I I'm, I'm sorry, it's just... There's a, there's a dress code. Not naked. You are about to become king. You need to know how to eat oysters. <laughs> if I am being fancy, I'd get the um, tacos with guac. All my life, all I wanted was to travel to San Pablo to research an exhibition on Queen Leticia. If I pull this off, King Felipe will fund the whole trip. Can we give this another shot? Is that a yes or a no or a maybe? The coronation ceremony concludes with a famous tradition in a Viennese waltz. One, two, three, two, two, three. Who taught you to count? You can count to three blind mice if you want. One, two, three, two, two, three, huh. Yeah. I've never been able to understand why people get so attached to sports teams. All right, that's it. <laughs> okay, see this? I don't understand. What? It's men in tights running around after a little leather ball. How do I look? Regal. When I first found out about being king, I thought that it was going to be easy. I don't know if I have what it takes. I'm not going to be king. Quit. Come on, get your shoes on. This is your heritage. Your great-great-grandfather, to be precise. You just never got a chance to show what you can do. I believe in you. I stand here as Ramon the first and only great nephew of your current King Felipe. What's on the menu? 12 courses of the finest cuisine in the kingdom. If not, we're getting tacos.